writing code is like creating a recipe. You know, how do you make a pizza, right? Or make a, um, a bread or something. What material you need? What are the steps you need to, um, to take in order to build that thing? So, so you need all the ingredients. Um, these are the inputs. And then uh, the way you combine them is the processing part. These are the instructions to process or build or bake that pie or that cake, whatever it is. And the output is when you got the, the baked cake or whatever that output is. So before you solve a problem, before you even develop a program, you need to find out what the problem is. So you go through the analyzation process. Um, this is very typical for not only programming, but when you talk about a process in manufacturing or build something or even solve a problem, or even like, you know, redesign office space in your, in your office. Same, same idea. So you define the problem, what that is. If you don't know, if you don't know the problem, you can't really design something to, to fix it, right? You don't know how to code your problem to solve the problem. So you must understand the problem first and you have to understand it really well to, to make sure your code works the way you should. So analyze the problem and then you design your plan that problem. And then design interface is just basically drawing the output, basically this part here. And our case would be like buttons and um, you know uh, uh, text locations and columns and rows and things like that. And then you do the, pro the code, the processing part here. Write the code. And step five is um, test and debug. <clears throat> and then step six is when everything's completed, then you basically write the documentation. This part here is after everything is all done and you're ready to publish your code or, or program, and then you will write a full documentation this is more of a manual for your program. Okay. Both and a separate you know, uh, document and also inside the code itself. Uh, we call this code documentation, which I highly recommend you do as well when we start coding. Okay. So here again, these are the designing part. Um, a lot of time you will spend on designing the interface, the layout we look like. Not a lot of time you will spend here, but it, it does take us some time to do that. Uh, you spend about, I would say maybe like a third of, of your time will be doing this part here. Um, or maybe a fourth of your time, one quarter of your time here, and maybe one quarter of your time, or maybe more, I guess i say about a third or more of your time coding. A lot of your time will be spent using step five. So in a, a life of a programmer, you will see that most programmers will spend about 50 to 60% or more of their time testing and debugging, okay? Uh, um, and you will see why later as you start coding. I have students like spend hours and hours to solve a really simple problem because something that doesn't work uh, or there's an error that couldn't fix it, right? So when you, you know, write a program, when you want to uh, deploy it for production mode, uh, um, uh, ready, you have to test it. And when you test it, you have to do all sorts of testing to make sure that all the possible errors are caught and fixed before you um, you know, uh, publish that, that program or that output of that, whatever it is, right? So you wanna make it as perfect as possible. Um, that's why a lot of time is spent in this, this test number five. Because testing here doesn't mean you just test. It's also involving recoding your code. You go back and recode again, Fix your code, that's why it's so much, takes so much time. 